In practicing green chemistry, chemists try to improve their work to use safer and more efficient techniques. Chemists live by 12 principles that guide their research and actions in a way that is better for the world. Today we'll be discussing three of these principles. Today we'll be focusing in on the prevention of waste. It's better to prevent waste than to clean it up later. And the use of less hazardous chemicals. In chemical synthesis, we want to use and create chemicals that are less toxic to human health and the environment. And thirdly, pollution prevention. As green chemists, we need to prevent the release of hazardous chemicals into the environment. Today we have two chemists. Alex will be showing us methods in chemistry that get the job done, but maybe not the greenest way. And Brittany, our other chemist, will be showing us the greener way of doing chemistry. They'll be preparing lemonade and ice cream for a picnic they'll have later today. Chemist Alex has some store-bought lemonade mix. Let's see how he does. Now we'll see how chemist Brittany is doing. She's making lemonade from scratch with real lemon, sugar, and water. To avoid waste, she's carefully measuring out the proper amounts. Because Brittany used a recipe and measured out everything carefully, she produced no waste and had some really sweet lemonade. On the other hand, Alex, he had no plan, was not careful, made way too much lemonade and produced a ton of waste, not to mention this mess everywhere. These next set of experiments will look at the hazards of chemistry. Green chemists try to find safer methods and use less hazardous chemicals. Alex will be making ice cream with dry ice, a potentially harmful substance. It's so cold he has to be very careful with how he handles it. Brittany is using the same recipe for ice cream but with far less hazardous materials. Instead of the hazardous dry ice, she'll be using regular ice. Both chemists started with the same ingredients. 
The difference between the two is the method they used. Alex used this potentially harmful method with dry ice, and as you can see, things really did not turn out all that well. Brittany, on the other hand, being the awesome green chemist that she is, used regular ice, used all the proper amounts of materials, and produced just the right amount of awesome ice cream. Way to go, Brittany. Oh yeah. The next principle we will demonstrate is preventing pollution. One way green chemists try to prevent pollution is by properly disposing of the chemicals that they use. Techniques for proper disposal can be found in the Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS. Alex doesn't even check the MSDS. He brushes it aside and haphazardly disposes of the chemicals in which he used. Unlike Alex, Brittany does check the material safety data sheets to make sure that she's properly disposing of all of her chemicals. Today we discussed three of the 12 principles of green chemistry. Brittany showed us how to reduce unnecessary waste use less hazardous chemicals, and reminded us to consult the MSDS to prevent pollution. It's important that chemists learn and abide by the 12 rules of green chemistry so that we can help protect our environment and make the world a safer place for generations to come. And until next time, keep it green.